Hi guys and welcome back to my kitchen. Um, as you can see, I've got my new Matthews Friends um, apron on and I um, love it. Thanks to Julie for sending me this. Um, so today I want to talk about um, some summer treats, um, some ice cream, some drinks um, and a smoothie bowl. Um, let's start with a few of the drinks. Um, I found these uh, Twining's Cold Infusions, which don't have anything in at all. No sugar, no carbohydrate, which is great. So um, you can drink this all day long. Um, one of the, it's got some kind of dried tea in there and um, infusion. This is passion fruit, mango and blood orange, which is great. So again, we're just increasing the volume of liquid into the diet and people always ask questions about this so that's one good way of going that tea bag will then last all day just keep topping it up and then using that and um, the next one we've kind of got a nice coffee so this is decaffeinated coffee and um, i'm going to add some of the keto into this to make it then a latte so great for breakfast great for taking to work um, drinking on the train to work, um, whatever you're up to and doing. You can flavour this as well if you want to add some Vinci syrups to this. Um, the vanilla one's really good in that if you want a vanilla latte. So then you've got your um, iced coffee and iced tea. Uh, the other one, which is a little bit of kitchen to kitchen, and I love this, um, my friend um, bought me a uh, Mr. Frosty for Christmas. So this just grinds up the ice inside um, and makes a slush puppy. So what I really wanted to do is look at um, the syrup with the slush puppy because you can go and buy one but they tend to have quite a lot of sugar in them. So I've just taken some um, Truvia, uh, popped that in a jug with some water, put that in the microwave and then melted it. Uh, and then I found um, a stevia drops which is a blueberry bubble gum and uh, it's blue in colour and it's proper pitch but I love it. So um, I've just ground up the ice, you can do this in a, a food processor, smoothie maker, you can bash it with a rolling pin in a tea towel or you can grind it uh, up. It just makes little shards of ice just as you would get if you go to the shop to buy a slush uh, puppy. And then just onto the top I'm just going to add the syrup that we've made on top of there. Again, just increase, quite fun in the summer, um, and everybody loves a slush puppy, and it's that blue retro colour. So again, um, another kind of drink that you can make, keto friendly, and it's not gonna flip our exchanges either way. The next thing I've got is a breakfast um, dish, but you can use this for um, snacks and lunches, and you, it, it's just so versatile. Um, We've got a smoothie bowl. Um, I've got some milk. I've got some double cream. I'm going to add to the jug. Get all of that out. Or no will shout at me. Um, we're going to add some ice to this and then wet it. I don't have a smoothie maker, but I've just got a handheld blender, so I just split mine um, with this. It doesn't take too long. Uh, I'm going to pull it into the bowl. And then on top of this, we've got some um, grated apple, which I'm going to add in. And then I've got some raspberries, some blueberries, and some black currants. There's 10 grams of each of these. Again, just pop all that in. And then I've got 20 grams of, 10 grams of um, brown flakes. So again, this is a great breakfast dish. It's quite filling. And um, you need to do this with a spoon, as it's a smoothie bowl. So let's just add and sprinkle onto it. 
Again, you can add some Da Vinci syrups to this if you want to change it into a chocolate version. You can change the cereal, and um, it's such a small quantity in there. But again, you can mix them and match it up. Um, so great for that summer breakfast on there. Um, so let's look at an ice cream. That's been lovely summer. We're in the garden, we're having barbecues, it's hot. Um, so I've come up with a mini magnum for you. Um, so this is the base of an ice cream. Um, let me show you my mini magnum moulds. I just get these online. You get eight in a row, but I couldn't get them in my freezer, so I've literally cut it in half. You then also get some lollipop sticks with these. Um, these just get inserted in. The ice cream goes in there, and pop in the freezer, and then set. Um, Dead easy, and only $5.99 for 80 these, so not bad again. So you can make ice leaves, you can do ice cream rolls with these, you can use it for cake pops, um, for birthdays, Christmas and treats and things like that. So a really good, um, versatile and useful mould. Again, if you don't have this, you can use silicon cupcake moulds and you can put the um, stick in there. You can also use um, lolly moulds if you've got any of them. Um, you always kind of get given lots of silicon moulds. This is our one which makes a um, uh, lollipop. So again, you can put the smoothie in there, you can do the yeah, iced coffee, you can do the coffee, you can do a slush puppy in there, you can just put water in there and you've got a nice pop. So again, just look at what you've got around the house and then see what you've got. So let's have a look at our um, ice cream recipe that goes with this. So I've got some Truvia sugar in this. The key when you're making ice cream is when things are frozen, it dilutes the flavour. So you've kind of got to over flavour the basic mixture before you freeze it. So when you take it out, you can then taste them flavours in it. If you kind of go a little bit conservative on them, you kind of don't taste them. So always have a little bit more sweetener or a little bit more of the flavourings that you like to this. I've got our Keats Cal powder. So again, that's going in. Um, I've got double cream. If you want to change the ratio, you can use whipping cream as well in there. It works just as good. But I'm just going to mix all them together and lightly just whisk in. Just to get that double cream a little bit frothing. That's good. And then I've got some cream cheese. So this is at room temperature, not straight out of the fridge, otherwise it will be ages before you can whisk it in. Um, so just mix all that in. And you'll have like a thick double cream mixture. Western, let's get rid of that. And then I'm using um, freeze dried strawberries in this one just because this whole thing weighs seven grams. Um, we only need four grams in this recipe, but again, it packs a punch because they're dehydrated, they've got a real um, strong flavour to them. So I'm going to mix in them. Um, again, you can use um, different fruit, fruit purees um, raspberry, blueberry, black. Current is amazing in this one. Um, let's just combine. So at the minute, it looks a little bit like a cheesecake, which is not a bad thing. So let's take our mould and we're just going to fill the mould with our mixture. Um, use a palette knife and you can see it's just quite easy. You literally just smooth over the top so you've got um, a smooth ice cream. Then smooth over, clean all the sides because we want all of this mixture. So let me grab my spatula. Oh, let's chunk to that. 
You want to push it all down so you get no air pockets. You'll need a little bit more of the mixture because as we insert our blow pop sticks, it slightly pushes everything up. So the blow pop sticks go in as so. Again, take the mixture and smooth over the top. You'll have more time than me to play around with it, but get it as smooth as you can and get all of that mixture in. So there we have our mould ready to go in the freezer. So we'll take about four hours in the um, freezer. Once they come out, um, this is then what they look like. So all you do is to release it is just pop out the stick and then you've got an ice cream lolly. You can eat it at that stage. I'm just going to take it a stage further. So let's just pop two of these out so we can see. Keep them cold on that. Then in my jug, what I've got is some green and black 85% cocoa chocolate. And I've mixed it then with some um, coconut oil. The coconut oil thin down the chocolate, which means we can use less chocolate and more fat. So again, this is a three to one ratio, so it keeps it in there, but you can easily change this by adding more um, coconut oil to the mixture. This mixture then we use for cake pops or, um, or lollies, or you can use it for chocolates and spreading out as well. So we take our lolly ice, and it's cool to the touch, but it's not completely cold because we want it to be liquid. We're going to dip in and then you just need to hold it. Remember the ice cream is cold so it will start setting the chocolate mixture but we just want to give them so it's done like that. Pop that on a tray, blend with grease proof or a silken mat. Again, dip in and then roll off. The quantity in the recipe of 35 grams of chocolate will give two coatings. Um, use a container that's small enough to get the lolly in. So if you're using a cupcake one, you obviously need a wider, so you maybe use like a teacup. Um, I'm dipping a lot, so I've kind of got a bigger jug in here. So again, you can see it starts setting up slowly. Right, let's, do, let's do one more. So we can say. So again, you can do this with cake pops. Um, dip them in. You just need to leave them before we decorate. I always put them back in the freezer just for about 20 minutes, half an hour, just so it keeps the ice cream firm. So again, you can see. So let's pop them in the freezer and then I'll bring out some that are frozen and I can show you how to decorate them. So guys, we've got our selection of bits and bobs and our um, ice cream is frozen. So um, that's what they look like when they come out of the freezer and you can just keep these in the freezer. What I would do is keep them in an airtight box, but then wrap that box in a jiffy bag. Um, <clears throat> the less air gets to it, it keeps the ice cream nice and soft. If you let it just sit in the freezer, the ice cream tends to get really, really hard. So you can eat these as they are, Obviously, I'm going to decorate these a little bit more. Everybody knows I love the um, glitter and the powder. So again, I'm going to turn one to become gold. So again, just spray on. And this is all right in the freezer as well. So you've got yourself a little gold one. These then um, are liquid and um, edible shimmer. Um, so we've got um, gold, you can get blue, you can get um, pink, you can get lots of different colours. So um, again, you just paint this on with a paintbrush. So let me see if I can do uh, an, um, and an F for Matthew's friends. So again, you put it on, you can just add some little 
spots on there, um, whatever you want to do, you can flick this on. Um, again, just great just to decorate and make it fun. Great for birthday parties or sort of barbecues. Um, you can do Christmas ones, put some snowmen on there. Um, and let's do one and just put some lines on there and be some creative. So we've got another one. So that's our mini magnums. We've got our um, smoothie bowl. And we've got our sush cup egg. We've got our ice last egg. And we've got our ice tea. Um, and then this one is just a milk jelly. So this is just sugar-free jelly mixed with um, keto cow. So you just heat the keto cow up, melt the jelly. Um, I've just put these into some little cups. Serve it with double cream. Um, again, great for lunch boxes. You can do these into some little jam jars and then store them in the fridge. They'll keep for a whole week. So you can add them to your lunch boxes. But we've just got a great summer selection. Um, please try these if you're going to make any of these. I'd love to see some pictures. As always, all of my recipes are always on my keto planner. So um, follow the link to there and um, log on and you'll get the recipes. Any more information, just leave me a note in the Matthews Friends comment box and I'll get back to you. Um, and until next time, see you later. Bye.